Now, WWE, I've been on to you. And if you're planning what I think you're planning for CM Punk Wrestling Family, oh my God, this is going to be a fantastic ride. And one of the best things that we've seen in a long time, especially when it comes to CM Punk's career. Now, before I get into this, I know some of you guys are going to try to cook me in the comment section for this hoodie. And the reason why I'm wearing this hoodie is because I wore it for a charitable toy drive event earlier today. And I want it to be a little festive for the kids, okay? But if you want to cook me in the comment section, it is what it is. You're my wrestling family. I love you guys. But let's get into what I have to to say so after watching nxt deadline last night which was a fantastic show the show further solidifies some of the speculations that i have for wwe and their plans for cm punk leading up to wrestlemania and if this is going to be the case guys i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of geeking out about this but before i get into that let's go back into his first promo on monday night raw after he returned to wwe and one of the main things that we've all noticed in this promo is that he wasn't what he would like to call the spicy cm punk could the promo have used a little cholula could it have used a little red hots or some lemon pepper absolutely it could have but i wasn't upset with it even though he didn't say much i felt like that was the best route to go especially with his first promo coming to wwe after a long time that wasn't a time for him to share the spotlight with AEW by acknowledging them but the speculation that i had after that promo is that if they're going to set up this whole match between cm punk versus seth rollins as the main event at wrestlemania what if at this point they start to build CM Punk up to be this lovable babyface that eventually wins over all the people who hate his guts right now, regardless if it's for some things he did in WWE or some things that he did in AEW and some of the speculations over there, or maybe just some people just don't like him just because of who he is. Maybe he can find a way to win majority of those people over. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say he has to be Jesus in wrestling boost. That's not what I'm saying. I feel like that he could be a lovable baby face, but with a slight edge, like he can give out turkeys on Thanksgiving, kiss babies, but he can hit you with the GTS in the middle of a church service if you push him a little too far. But I think he's here at a perfect time because if the character we're going for is this flawed character who's trying to turn over a new leaf, who's trying to be a better person to push things in the past, I think trying to do this in a matter of two months, no one's going to believe that, especially the people who don't like him. But with WrestleMania being so far away, that gives us tons of time to see him week in and week out, seem more mature, to show us that he's a whole different person and to start winning these people who hate him over little by little. And I think one of the great things about his promo on SmackDown is he serviced both sides of the field. He serviced the people who missed the old CM Punk that would cut promos and try to get at people super hard. But then at the same time, he still showed a little maturity, invited the fans to be involved into his promo, almost like a game show type of thing. So if he still straddles that type of fence, I think he'll be very successful in this type of situation. Now, what does this have to do with NXT Deadline? And what does this have to do with Seth Rollins? Well, if you watched NXT Deadline last night, CM Punk came into the ring, spoke to Shawn Michaels and basically said there are people in the back who told me they grew up watching me and took selfies with me and now I get the opportunity to do the same with you because I grew up watching you so that's great for CM Punk and, I, and it felt genuine it felt great which adds to the character that I'm talking about another heartwarming moment is backstage when he spoke to Cora Jade a fellow Chicago native and he told her that he was proud of her now most of us have seen this video where Cora Jade was younger and she was getting an autograph from CM Punk and she started crying because she said she loved him and he gave her a hug check this out hi how are you is this for me? Or do you want me signing this? Why are you crying? I love you so much. No, that's, that's, that's sweet of you. You're too much, kiddo. Now, I think those are perfect moments to build CM Punk to be this baby face to eventually win people over who absolutely hate his guts, especially if they find more moments like this. It's going to happen a lot faster than we think. What does this have to do with Seth Rollins? So once CM Punk and Seth Rollins eventually cross paths when they have their feud, I think majority of that feud is going to be spent on Seth Rollins trying to call CM Punk out on his BS. Like he doesn't believe that CM Punk has changed, that he doesn't believe all the nice things he did to people was genuine. He is just out here manipulating people. And at this point, Point, CM Punk has shown us over and over that he has changed a new leaf that the crowd is going to actually look at Seth Rollins crazy and turn on him even if they don't care about CM Punk at this point Seth Rollins will represent the person that don't believe that a person who does a mistake over and over can turn a new leaf and CM Punk is going to represent the people who no matter how many mistakes they made they can turn a new leaf and start a new life. Now, what could be the icing on the cake is that Seth Rollins is going so crazy. He has no one to turn to. He goes to his wife, Becky Lynch, and says, hey, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why people don't see what I see. It's driving me nuts. And then Becky Lynch at that point can say, hey, I know you have an issue with the guy, but he actually looks like he's changed. Now, at this point, Seth is like, not only has the world turned on me, but the only person I could depend on, my own wife, is siding with somebody and not seeing the BS. I thought we were on the same page and that's going to send Seth Rollins 
over the top into insanity. And on top of that, at this point, the very company that Seth Rollins has carried on his back and defended against other promotions, even when the promotions were right, when WWE was at its worst, at this point have turned their backs on Seth Rollins. Now, what's going to be interesting is that leading into WrestleMania, Seth Rollins is naturally going to be the heel that's going crazy because people are accusing him of being crazy. So he kind of is acting crazy. And then CM Punk on the other end is going to be the lovable baby face that everyone's going to cheer for because they feel like that Seth Rollins is picking on somebody who's trying to change their life. And most people in the crowd can relate to CM Punk as far as making mistakes and trying to turn over a new leaf. Now, when CM Punk goes to WrestleMania and faces Seth Rollins, I believe that he's going to win that belt off of him. And I think that's going to be a great moment. People are going to be cheering. People are going to go crazy. But what I think is going to happen soon after CM Punk is going to eventually revert back to that person that we all know who he was going to be to a scale to 11. So I think what would be cool is for whoever he does something nice for, whether it be him taking a selfie with us, with uh, Shawn Michaels, whether it be him telling Corey Jade that he's proud of her, whatever else he does leading up to this point, whenever he encountered these people, they're going to be worried for him like, yo, I thought you was a nice person. What's going on? We can help. He can have something really negative to say to these people to get more and more heel heat. And then it's going to make Seth Rollins look like he's right. And then fans are going to eventually turn back to the side of Seth Rollins. And I think that that can be a fantastic moment and a fantastic story. But anyways, that's my booking for it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for your watching and for your patience. Salute. Peace. Have a good day.